Hey friends, Tony Hill here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Making Sense of Credit, Making Sense of Making Money Online. I'm a personal and small business credit coach, online marketer, YouTuber. Hey, welcome back subscribers and uh, welcome welcome to all the new viewers. Uh, thanks for um, checking out my channel. Hey look, today's video is going to be about how to, how to use uh, credit utilization to your advantage, how to pay down your utilization um, before the statement date and with the same money that you're making. And I'm going to show you this, this credit hack and tell you how to do it, especially before you venture out and try to buy something when you, you know, trying to buy something with your utilization at its highest. You don't want to do that. But look, before I jump into this, uh, smash the like button, hit the notification bell for upcoming content. Make a comment if you like, and make you know share this with your friends, and family. Like I always say, don't keep it to yourself. And most of all, subscribe to my channel. Hey, appreciate you guys being here. Hey, look, this is a really easy credit hack. So normally, you got a statement date, especially with your credit card. And one thing about credit cards, there, they affect your scores more than anything, uh, as far as utilization goes. Installment loans, they're slow roll. They aren't going to impact your scores as much as a, as your credit card utilization, credit card utiliz utilization, because it's revolving debt. It goes up and down and up and down. And the lower your utilization is, the higher your scores are going to be. And I know most of you guys know that. But let me tell you how you can do it, a credit hack. So let's say you maxed out on three or four of your credit cards, and you want to buy a car this month. Okay. Then you want to do. You want to hold off on paying your normal bills. You know, look, most utility places, whatever, if you call them, just give them a heads up and say, hey, I'm going to be making that payment, you know, after the statement date. Um, you're going to be in better shape, okay? So you, so basically what you want to do, you want to pay those bills. You want to pay that credit card bill prior to the statement date, generally three or four days. And then because you can use whatever you pay on that credit card, let's say you got a a $2,000 limit on your credit card and your bill's $500. You could pay that $500, uh, pay off that credit card, pay the credit card down to 500. After the statement date, use your credit card to pay that bill down. But your, your credit utilization is gonna be lower uh, and your scores are gonna be higher. And you could do that on two, three, four bills, folks. You know, so, uh, but, but never, never try to finance anything when your utilization is very high particularly more than 30 percent you know and i say the closer you can get to one to two percent the better and some look if you got four cards you can leave a balance on one at one to two percent and pay off the other ones you know that whole thing about having them all at zero as a myth does it help to have a little balance on one yes but uh but don't be afraid to to pay your pay your debt down like I just had a client, you know, he paid all his his, uh, his his debt down, and his scores have been as high as he ever, and every balance was zero. And he's like, should I, you know, should I uh, put a balance on money? I said, man, you had a, you know, six, 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 seven, sixty, seven, eighty, and eight hundred, uh, brother. Though you're okay. <laughs> so, but but anyway, that's a credit hack. Before you buy anything, make sure your utilization is down and use the cash and use the money that you would normally pay those bills for pay on with credit card credit cards after the statement date if you got any more you know i got any questions about that reach out to me holla at me uh tony at making sense of credit.com and uh if you got any questions but look um also let me share this with you uh why i'm flying over i know car business is crazy right now and people are spending way too much money on cars Get this app. It's called VinCheck, and you can put your your any vehicle identification number in, into this app, and it'll tell you what the market value is going to be. And if the market value is two, three, four thousand dollars, pass on that. But check it out. It's kind of an orange app. It's called VinCheck. But look, this is Tony Hill, making sense of credit, making sense of making money online. I just wanted to drop that to you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button and subscribe. Until next video, we'll see ya.